I told you guys. Now, here's the thing, because I would like to let you know what my rationale was, all right, on, on everything today, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, like everything, I actually had a plan behind this. There was actually a reason why I did this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the very beginning of today's stream, I said, if I receive a $100 tip, I will do a shot of whale tail gin. Oh my God, it's so good. Seriously. And I said, you know, I would only do it for a $100 tip. Why? Because I didn't want to get seriously drunk and not be able to do the whole stream for you guys. I wanted, I felt it was more important for me to put out an entertaining and fun and lengthy marathon than for me to get wasted. You'll laugh at me for five minutes and then realize I'm passing out and that's the end of it. Okay. Now, there was another reason behind it. Are you ready? Because this was the plan all along. I wanted to prove a point. All right. The meme number one is that I drink gin, which I don't. I don't drink gin actively anymore, okay? But the other meme is this right here, the whale. There seems to be a ridiculous misconception among people on the internet. In particular, it's my haters and my, my detractors or whatever you want to call them. But amongst other people as well. They seem to believe that there is a very small group of people out there that they call whales who seem to be the major reason why I still make a living doing this. They seem to be under this oddball impression, this really unsubstantiated impression, that maybe there's like 10 or 20 people, okay, who support everything I do. It used to be that it would be Viking. Remember Vidar Viking? And then it went on and they said, oh, it was this person or that person over the years. They said it was only iced coffee. Remember that? It was always a different person that they would, this is the excuse. And then the thing is, Yes, these people absolutely do support me and my content. They do. But at the same time, they're not the end-all be-all of the support. They're one piece of the puzzle. The reason that I am successful and I continued to allow myself to continue to, to make the content I make, to not have ads, to not shill, to still be true to myself is because so many people, hundreds, not a dozen, hundreds upon hundreds of people appreciate what I do and step up to support it on a daily basis. And the fact that I'm a variety content creator means that every time that I do a stream, there's another group of people who watch that kind of content. Today, there were people watching Fallout, which is probably not the same crowd who's interested in watching me play Resident Evil, which is probably not the same crowd who's interested in watching me play Disney Dreamlight Valley. You understand? It's a little different. And... I appreciate the fact that I have a wide viewer base from all walks of life who like seeing me do all these different kinds of things. The point I'm making here is that I don't need one or two giant whale supporters to be successful. It's nice when that happens. You know, two months ago, Team Michael Gamer showed up, gifted an insane amount of, of memberships, and everyone was happy for a month because everyone had to get the membership. It was like, seriously, like, like six, 700 get the membership. It was out of control, right? Obviously, that was a, an amazing time of celebration, and I had a really good month, you know, of support. And was, I actually felt good. I had a little bit of extra money. Honestly, that's why I was able to do things, like buy a new controller, which I needed desperately because my old controller had a faulty uh, thumbstick. See? I was able to get a replacement monitor. One of my monitors was on its last legs. Honestly, that's why I was able to get my wife a nice Christmas present of an Xbox Series X. So thank you, Team Ico Gamer, for that, right? But the thing is... This is not the end-all, be-all of me. Although people would like to say dumb shit like that, like, oh, it's just a few people. It's not. Today, there was no sign of any whales whatsoever. If you didn't notice, right? There was no one who came to the stream and all of a sudden said, oh, I'm going to drop hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'm going to do a $100 tip and a $100 tip and a $100 tip to see Phil drink the gin and buy into the gin whale meme. That is detractors say, because that'll be hilarious, right? That didn't happen at all. What it was, take a look at the amount of support I got today. This was an effort from a ton of people who all like my content, stood up and said, hey, we'd like to support Phil together because we want to collectively see him support it, right? We don't want to see him fail. And thank you for that because you proved my point today. You really did. Um... You allowed me to show that this is not Phil reliant on one or two people. And I'm very happy about that. Honestly, I would much rather have a stream that has 350 likes, right? 
a ton of super chats and super stickers, a bunch of memberships, and a bunch of tips, and they came from like a hundred or more people. Rather than, oh, I the most successful stream I've ever done, and it all came from one person. I would I would much rather have the former than the latter, okay? And I'm, I'm grateful. I really am. I'm very grateful for that because it allows me to know that if something were to ever happen, like, for example, again, do I have regular supporters? I do. And I'm happy for that, and very, very, I'm grateful for that, and it helps a ton. But if anything ever happens... And if a supporter says, man, Phil, I can't really do much anymore, that's okay. In fact, I can tell you this concretely. That's happened tons over the years. Someone who's a huge supporter who comes by every single day, supports as much as they can, or maybe once a week or whatever it is, right? Once a month. And then all of a sudden, they're gone. That happens. That's called life, right? At one time, I used to be a super fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd and the Nostalgia Critic. I, I digested every piece of content they put out. I subscribed to the Nostalgia Critics website, right? I bought merch. I bought the Angry Video Game Nerds DVD set. You know what I mean? Like, I was a super fan of their stuff. And what happened? My life moved on. I got busy. I started making my own content. I stopped watching and following their stuff and supporting them. That's called natural course of life, right? And I understand I've been around for 14 years. And there's been so many people who've, who've supported me over the years. And I'm so incredibly grateful for that. But it's not one person. It's a ton of people, and that's a great thing. Because, again, that gives me the security to know that I can do whatever I want, and I can be the person I want to be, and I'm not beholden to any corporation, to any one business. I don't have all my eggs in one basket. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not a ginormous deal that, oh, my God, I said something, people are pissed at me, now I lose all my sponsorships or whatever. Or, oh my God, this one person who was the financier of my entire business has disappeared. That's, it's, it's never happened. For, so, for a year after Only Eyes Coffee stopped contributing to the streams except for an ongoing membership, people were, kept with this mean, this stupid detractor. Me, it's, oh, it's Only Eyes Coffee. It's Only Eyes Coffee. They're idiots. They don't know what they're talking about. And I want you guys to understand, every one of you who was here today, who watched, who liked the stream, who interacted with me on the stream, who supported in any way, a super chat, a super sticker, a membership, a gifted membership, a renewed membership, a tip. All of that amounted to how awesome today's marathon was. It was not one person. It was all of you together that made this a very fun marathon event. And that's how it always goes. Don't listen to the nonsense and the negativity and the stupidity of the idiots on the internet who want to say otherwise. They're wrong. If anything, today's Christmas marathon, and boy, is this the season for it to prove them wrong, show that this was not what finances DSP Gaming and keeps me going. It's not the whales. It's not the memes. It's not this bullshit that they talk about all day long. This is their dumb stupidity right here. Whale Jin. <laughs> This is their dumb mouth drooling nonsense that's not true. It's you, you guys out there and gals who watch and who support me. You're the ones, not their dunce nonsense, all right? So don't listen to it and don't worry because it doesn't bother me at all anymore. You know, I proved my point yet again. Here's another situation. I set it up. I was curious how it would go. It went literally exactly according to plan. As soon as I had the one shot, it was no big deal anymore. And then everyone went on and joined the marathon. Okay? If anything, my one regret here is that we did not hit the members goal. And people rallied to do it. We had 46 new members today. That's a ton for one stream. All right? Please understand that. I am very, very grateful for anyone, anyone who contributed in any way, shape, or form today in particular, those who tried to make that members goal happen, it's unfortunate it didn't. Because I'll tell you what's going to happen tomorrow. That member bomb is going to expire. And, and that's the end of that. You know, So it looks like there will not be a viewer's choice playthrough uh, at this point. There's nothing. You know, We tried. I tried, you know, I tried as much as I could this month to emphasize. We had to hit it by a certain date. There's nothing else I can do about it. All right? It's, it's going to expire tomorrow. And there's not much we can do. Tomorrow we are doing... Uh, Another stream, it is the new uh, uh, Sims, Chris, King of Christmas Tournament Sims. And 
I'm sure there'll be people there to enjoy and there'll be people there supporting and I'm appreciative of that. But I know during that stream, those gifted memberships are going to expire. So it is what it is. See, I was, I was hoping if we hit it today, what would happen is then we'd be like, oh, now we can lock it in and starting tomorrow, people, can, people saw the games today. And I can tell you right now, it seems like there's a trip, almost a triple threat tie for the next games that people want to see. People want to see Fallout 3, Resident Evil 1 Remake, and Oblivion. <clears throat> and I, I, it would be interesting to actually see people compete against each other and try to determine what should be the next playthrough. I would be very ha curious to see what, what turns up as the, the thing that people want. Because I don't know. It seems like people were interested for all three of those games. All right? But now there's no members... There's, excuse me, there's no viewer's choice event that's going to happen because we didn't hit the goal today. Um, so basically, you know, what we'll do, we'll finish up all the regular playthroughs I'm doing. We'll do the year end, you know, which is the most disappointing games of the year countdown, the game of the year awards. And then after that, we'll just start asking people, you know, what new games do I play? Because I missed a bunch of new games the last two, three months. I'll probably end up playing one or two of those and, and we'll go from there. All right, we'll see. I don't know what people want. A chill, uh, an old school playthrough or not, um, I guess we'll just have to play it by ear. You know, we're not going to do the event, so it's not going to lock it in uh, like we would have had if we had the event. But we'll see. And I had a great time. And thank you also for understanding I couldn't do feasting with the king today. It just wasn't going to happen with the inclement weather. It's still literally a sheet of ice outside everywhere. Uh, I'm even, I'm nervous about tomorrow because traditionally on Christmas Eve, my wife and I get Chinese food, and either I pick it up or we order it for delivery. And now, if it's still this bad tomorrow. I still can't get it. So I don't know. We're going we're gonna to be eating like ham sandwiches or something for dinner. You know, I guess it is what it is. We'll have to see how it is tomorrow. All right. Nothing you can do about the weather. All right. All right. But thank you guys. And again, thank you for understanding. Also, I wasn't going to be drunk all day. Past Christmas marathons, people seem to have this weird misconception that because I'm drinking all day, it means I'm going to be like piss face drunk. That's not the point. If I'm piss face drunk, how am I supposed to stream? Right. <laughs> How am I supposed to put on a marathon? I, I got to be responsible, right? I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for an extended period of time, nine plus hours of streaming. I got to be conscious and, and capable and, you know, not doing dumb stuff like seven years ago when I first did, seven years ago, five years ago, when I first did the marathon where I drank, I actually said a word that got me in trouble on Twitch and then they, they held it and they gave me a strike because I said a stupid word, even though it wasn't something that I was saying, I was trying to say, this is what dumb people say on Twitch or whatever, right? But... You know, I got to make sure I don't do that shit, right? I got to be careful. I got to be under control all the time. Um, so I had fun, and I kept it clean, and we had a good time. I think you guys enjoyed the playthroughs. I did too. Thank you for chilling, all right? 